Hi! Today I'm going to show you how to make a submarine. We did this lesson as part of a Civil War lesson on submarines. But you can also do it for buoyancy, density, or other types of history lessons. It's great for in the classroom, but you can also use it as a homeschool activity or just having some fun with your kids. Now, the first thing that you're going to need is a soda bottle. You're going to need some plastic tubing. This is quarter of an inch. You can get it at uh, home improvement stores or pet stores. You're going to need some duct tape and a weight. Now this is a chunk of steel. You can use a wrench or any other type of metal that you have around, but it's very important to put it on there because the density of the plastic is similar to that of the water. So without the weight, it won't sink and it won't work as well. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take your plastic bottle and you're gonna cut some holes in it on the same side. Then you're going to take your lid and drill a hole in it that's the same diameter as your plastic tubing. Now it needs to be on there pretty snug. If you happen to drill the hole too big, then you can take some silicone and sew that up or some hot glue. We happened to do that the first time we did it but we found another lid. If you don't have any silicone or hot glue around, I would suggest just buying another bottle because the cost is about, uh, is gonna be a little bit cheaper. So you take your lid and you take your bottle and you screw that on. And then you're gonna take your weight and your duct tape. And you're gonna tape the weight on to your bottle on the same side as your holes are. So holes are right here and I've just taped that over it. And this is gonna keep your holes on the weight, weight side down. All right, so here's our submarine, pretty cool. So we're gonna go over here and we're going to launch it. Now I'm gonna start and I'm gonna turn it sideways and get all of the oxygen out and fill it up with water. Now this is very similar how submarines work is they have ballast tanks and they open them up let out all the oxygen, fill them up with water, and down to the bottom of the ocean it goes. Got a little bit more. There we go. Now right now it has negative buoyancy, so it's sink. It, we um, raised it up. If it's floating in the middle, then it's got neutral buoyancy, and if it's floating on the top of the water, then it has positive buoyancy. So to get our submarine to surface, I could just blow in this tube, but what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take a can of compressed air, and this is also similar to how submarines work, is they have tanks of compressed air on board, and when they wanna surface, they just blow out the water from the ballast tanks with the compressed air. There we go. Our submariners are now on the surface. We've got positive buoyancy. We have a fun little activity.